Good morning, happy Friday. It's 8.35 in the morning and I'm on my work computer. However, I need to leave at like nine o'clock to go to my follow-up appointment for my tooth extraction. Um, so that should be fairly quick. It's just kind of far away. It's like at least a 30, 35 minute drive because it's in a different city. But first of all, this week went really fast. Like the day seemed kind of slow, but it also went really fast. Like this, I've already been, you know, quarantined for a week. So that's interesting. And then the other thing is I'm a little bit frustrated with my sleep. So as you guys know, part of this little lean quarantine is I'm trying to get at least eight hours of sleep or, you know, over seven because my body is used to six to seven. And I honestly function okay with that. And what I'm realizing is like, like last night I got in bed by like 920. And so I just read in bed. I try to get off my screen. Obviously a couple times this week that didn't happen, but like I have been trying to do that and be asleep by 10 o'clock. I fall asleep fine, but I wake up like 20 million times and then even though I wake up at 6, I don't feel any more rested than if I were to wake up at 4.30. It's almost like it's worse. I don't know. Like, I guess the days are okay. Yesterday, I took a power nap, 20-minute nap, because I was so tired. And, like, why? <laughs> That's so annoying because I'm getting more sleep now because I've been trying to. Or at least it, it looks like that according to my Fitbit. But I know I'm still waking up multiple times in the night. I'm also a little disappointed because I was hoping that this tooth was kind of the problem with my sleep but that doesn't seem to be the problem because i'm still not sleeping well i know it's normal to wake up multiple times in the night but i'm very aware of being awake you know what i'm saying like i toss and turn it's not like i'm i wake up and stay awake for hours but i wake up and toss and turn and i'm very aware of that and then i'm able to fall asleep again but then i'll wake up again whatever I have been wearing like my little face mask, eye mask thing to sleep, but it's obviously not really working. And what else is new? It's a beautiful day. It's a little bit chillier out today, but it feels really nice out and the sun is out. Grateful for that. Um, I will film another workout today. Oh, the other thing was I tried to call Vanguard this morning because I want to transfer I want to transfer my Roth IRA from my current bank to Vanguard and I kept calling past eight o'clock because that's when they open but then um, I called a different number and it was like we are closed for the holiday so technically I guess it is a hot like a good Friday whatever and I forgot about that so that sucks because I like specifically waited until Friday to do this and I didn't even realize it would be a holiday so I'll call on Monday and hopefully try to transfer it then. My Roth is going back up now. Um, it had dropped like a thousand bucks and now it's going back up. So I wanna transfer it over to Vanguard and keep it over there. I'll probably talk more about this on my finance channel, but tried to do that. So I'll update you on my tooth if anybody cares after my appointment. All right, I just got back. It's like 10.30. That was a complete waste of time. Uh, I mean, it's fine, I made it home safe, so that's all that matters. But it, like literally, I sat in my car because they don't let you come in, whatever, you have to call and say that you're sitting outside. And then they, when they're ready, they come get you, take your temperature. And then I got in there, sat down. It wasn't even the doctor who looked at me, it was like the assistant, whatever. Looked at my mouth, said, looks like everything's clotting well, everything looks good. Just keep keeping it clean and doing what you're doing. And I was done. Literally, it took, he was in my mouth for not even 10 seconds. <laughs> so I'm like, had I known that, I would have probably called and been like, yo, can I not come in to, to save myself a 30 minute drive? But it's okay, I made it home safe, that's all that matters. Um, we're a little bit closer to lunchtime, so. <laughs> That's cool, but I'll just be here, sitting here in my usual spot until I get to eat and 
That's it. The other thing is people are really aggressive on the streets right now. So be careful if you do have to drive around, especially on the highway and stuff. I don't know about other places, but people are speeding. People are driving more aggressive than usual. Um, and that's how it's been for like, you know, each time I've gone out, I've experienced that. Like I get it. You want to go faster because there's no traffic and stuff, but also there's still a speed limit, you know, and driving 20, 30 above that is still not safe. Hello. Um, this is kind of random, but me and Sebastian have been playing this game, Draw Something Back and Forth, which is funny. So, like, you draw, and then the other person guesses. So, he got that one right. And then I have to guess his. Um, Doritos, looks like. Oh yeah, oh cool, he's a good drawer on this, on the app. Let me show you mine. <laughs> oh, he literally just sent me a photo of a waffle. So, mine aren't very good. <laughs> We're gonna, that doesn't even look like a waffle because it doesn't have, let's get rid of that. <laughs> we'll put some, You know what, I should have put like some butter on top. We'll make a little piece of butter. And we'll put, we'll put some um, syrup on the side. <laughs> He'll figure that out. So that's it. But we've been doing that since yesterday. It's kind of, there's so many ads, but it's a way for us to you know, <laughs> cope during this time. I'm about to work out, I'm gonna film that. So today's gonna be arms, biceps, and triceps, and then I'm gonna do hit cardio. Um, I, whenever it comes to like anything that, you know, abs or hit cardio, I go to YouTube. So I will show you which video that I end up doing, but that's typically what I go to. <laughs> That was like, I am drenched, drenched, dripping, sweat. That was intense. I gotta wash my hair, it's just, it's just wet. I really want this to go away. It's so annoying, I don't, I don't know what it is. I honestly do not like HIT. I hate HIT workouts. They are awful, especially, I was trying to find one without jumping and this one had a little bit. I didn't specifically look that up because I knew I could use a little bit of jumping. But this one wasn't horrible, like it didn't hurt my joints. It wasn't like um, jump kicks or anything like that, which are the worst, like squat jumps, I forget what they're called. <sighs> but th this was, wow. My body's also not used to HIIT workouts, so um, that's another thing. And it's really hot in my apartment, so try that one out and I'm gonna link it down below I would say that that one is also good for beginners so you can there's a whole bunch of modifications that she provides as you're going through it so like you could literally make it more intense or way less intense depending on where you're at um, physically 
but I mean you could even do like half of the workout instead of the whole thing it was 30 minutes long but it went by really quickly um, it really like it sucks but it's not that bad you know like if you want to get an effective workout then I suggest doing hit a few times a week like a couple times a week not every time because I think it's just too much for every single day but oh man yeah I need to I need to go shower now so I'll talk to y'all later Look at the sunshine peeking in. I guess the sun is setting. It's really actually, the sun's on the other side, but now there are, mm -hmm. now there are windows across from me, so it's reflecting off of there. But I figured I would share with you guys a few meal prepping tips or like meal planning tips as far as how I plan mine out. Um, I've been meal prepping for over four years now. And to be honest, it's like, a lot easier for me to come up with meals now just because I've been doing it for so long and I know what I like. I always like to have fulfilling me meals that are flavorful and something that I don't mind eating every single day. I know not everybody likes meal prepping but I still think even if you don't meal prep you should plan your meals out for the week like if you want to make something different every day or every two days whatever. Um, so I actually have a notebook with a list and um, at the top, I put produce, frozen, dry, and dairy in quotations because I am vegan. And so we're just going to continue this on to this week. This is from last week. Literally, this whole thing is just filled with grocery lists and plans, meal plans, basically. For getting ideas, for the most part, I just kind of think of it. But if I am struggling to find ideas one i take a picture of almost all of my meal preps every single week uh or for the most part i'm taking pictures of all of my food just because i like to <laughs> and i'm either sharing it on instagram or i just keep it for myself and so if you have google photos or even on your phone you may be able to search it but like if you go to google Fo photos and type in food i can see all my photos of my food so that's one way for me to think of ideas um another way is to look on other people's Instagram. So you could either look up like hashtag vegan meal prep or meal prep if you're not vegan or healthy meal prep. You can look at influencers. They like somebody who has a body that you're going for. Or, like if you want to be healthy, like how they are, go after what they eat. You can, they typically have like save stories of their food. Um, that's another good way. Uh, the other one is Google. So just Google vegan meal prep or meal prep whatever and I go to images and I typically can get a bunch of ideas from there even if they're not vegan I can basically turn them vegan so if there's something like with chicken in it I can just replace that with tofu like I can still get an idea from it and then same with Pinterest Pinterest is awesome for meal preps but I just prefer to see photos like I don't need to see a whole blog post explaining anything I just need like some images in my head and decide oh that looks good you know Sometimes I shop based off of sales. So if there is a specific vegetable on sale that's typically more expensive or if there's something that I could revolve a meal around, then I'll, I'll plan a meal around that. So now that I'm kind of like trying to really reduce the processed foods and focus on just like whole foods and higher protein stuff like that, it's really basic meals and I'm not doing anything. I never really do anything crazy. Uh, I'm like a huge sucker for one pot meals like curry and dal and stews or soups. Um, I really like simple things like rice with a vegetable and some beans or rice with tofu and something else. Like I love rice. That's typically a staple food of mine, but I'm switching to like quinoa for now. And so that's kind of what I'm going with these next few weeks is like a protein which is more than likely going to be tofu or I could find like a vegan meat substitute. Um, I think one of the healthier brands is Dr. Prager and also Beyond Meat but otherwise you could just do tofu or tempeh or seitan, 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 I can't remember how to say that but I prefer tofu. Uh, you could do that as your protein and then a vegetable and a grain. So that's kind of what I'm going for this week. I'll probably, I actually have potatoes already. So I also base my meal around what I may already have. And so because I had been stocking up 
for a week or two just with everything going on. I do have like potatoes left over that I need to use so I'll use those up this week and then probably have that with some tofu and some broccoli and like that's fine with me and then I'll add like a sauce to it or because I have the sauerkraut I'll use that so it doesn't go to waste and that adds some flavor to it so you can always make like a nice dressing yourself I highly suggest making dressings yourself because it's going to be more healthy and that's a really simple and affordable way to to add more flavor to your meal and not sacrifice the health of it so I don't suggest store-bought dressings even if they say like low fat or low calorie just because the ingredients are usually out of this world still um i, I also stick with like for my pre-workout snack it's been oats with the peanut butter and the apples uh and cinnamon and, and the dates and stuff for several months like two months now and i love that like i kind of stick to the same thing for several months until i'm sick of it and before that it was like avocado toast which makes things a lot easier and then for dessert I'll probably still stick with the grapefruit just because I like it. So you kind of just go based off of what you start to like. I really don't mind meal prepping and I really don't mind simple foods like I I feel good when I eat these foods so that's kind of what we're going for. Of course I will show you my meals for the next week in my next video but I kind of wanted to give some tips as as far as how I plan my meals. Um, I think those are like the main ways that I typically come up with food ideas. Um, if you're looking for vegan meals, if you go on my Instagram you'll see that I have vegan food saved and you can see some meal ideas on there or my blog or my YouTube. <laughs> so yeah, it's really not that difficult. It just takes a little bit of time and really you get better at it so it actually ends up saving you more time so you're not just like wandering aimlessly around the grocery store and wasting money, wasting food and also right now we don't really want to be out for longer than we need to with the, you know, virus. So that's it. Okay, but I'm going to end the video here. Um, let me know if you guys want to see anything specific in these videos. Hopefully you're not bored of me yet. We're only a few episodes in so I'm gonna keep going every couple of days or so but that will be it for today I hope you guys are staying healthy and staying active make sure you're getting your body moving even if you're not doing any sort of challenge or anything make sure you're going outside and taking walks or just moving around in your apartment do some sort of stretching because sitting or in your home not necessarily your apartment but um, just make sure you're moving your body in some way every day make sure you're getting your water and your vitamins and nutrients and stuff like that from your food and from your suppl supplements because that's not going to create a good um overall situation for you if you are not doing that so don't feel um don't feel guilted into having to do what i am doing that's not my point here this is just what i am choosing to do during this time because otherwise i would be really bored and I, I enjoy working out, I enjoy being healthy, and I enjoy making these videos so you do not have to feel pressured to do any sort of thing but I do recommend staying active and staying positive as much as possible. Anyways, that was way too long so please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video.